Hello guys, good boys here. Well, it's been a while since we put out a farming video on different comps, so here it is. The new Ice Fire Comp. Just because of the new patch, Lakala came in, a bunch of other mercenaries came in, Belinda came in, so, well, they actually make a pretty good farming comp. So today, here it is. Make sure you leave a like and sub to the channel for free. Now, without further ado, let's hop into the comp. Well, Belinda is here because she has both a fire and a frost ability. So, yep, ice fire is a good place for her. She acts as a fire starter here. So, the first turn you go for a flame dart, then Baron get in, go for Inferno as always, then Lakala, Hailstorm with Frigid Winds. It pretty much clears the board. So, yeah, Belinda, if you don't have her yet, you can replace her with anything with a fire ability that is quicker or equal to 6 speed. So I guess Antonidas would be, you know, the usual pick. But the thing is, with this comp, this is green, blue, and red. So, pretty good combination. Especially, um, usually you would need to target the blue ones, because they don't have enough firepower, as in the green and red. So, yeah, Belinda is a great pick, because he hits the uh, blue ones super effectively. Let's take a quick look at this. Okay, you want to get Flame Dart to like level 3, so it does decent damage. And then for equipment, it just doesn't matter. I put the third one on just because it saves a little bit of time, because it doesn't summon anything at the start of the game. Then get in is the same as always. Just Inferno. Bang, bang. And then with Mark of Conflagration, it deals 5 more damage. So, it's pretty cool. And finally, Lock Hollow. Well, just like I am, I would say, everybody should have him at Hailstorm Max and Frigid Winds Max. So just bring this. It's good enough. And then the rest are the ones that you want to farm tasks for. So, well, let's hop into a run and see what's gonna happen. Okay, the run that we are going to farm is gonna be 2-6, which is Fairwood. Yep, this guy, Lord Bane Hollow here. And when you go into this stage, you have to assess, okay, what is going to most likely yield me the mysterious stranger here in the mystery? So what you want is that um, this mystery note is high up here, like in the final one or like the second last one then it's more likely to spawn a mysterious stranger. And then, before you reach that, aim for a elite fight. That's gonna exponentially increase the chance that you get a mysterious stranger. Believe me, I tried a lot of times, and usually when I go for elite fights, it's gonna yield me a mysterious stranger. Sometimes there are gonna be two elite fights. Just go for both of them, and then BAM! Almost guaranteed a mysterious stranger. I would say every time I fight two elites and then go to the mystery note, it's gonna be a mysterious stranger. So, aim for elite fights. As you see, I have already cleared one battle. It's very easy. But now let's show you the elite fight and see how this team performs. Oh, also I got a uh, fighter coin. So fighters are also buffed. Let's see, let's see. The buffed elite fight. Can we take care of that? Oh, they're too faster. That's actually good for us because we're gonna have Lock Collar here with Frigid Winds. So, yeah, the faster they are, the easier they die. Oops. Okay. Uh, a little bit of lag there. Not sure why, but. Whoop. At least we got through. So, just like I said, go for the fire ability first, then Inferno, and then Hailstorm. Bam! It should be cleared in no time. Oh no, it burns! Okay, kinda hurts, but it's not enough to kill us. And of course, Lakala just takes care of this. Ooh, elite fight, what? Easy pickings. 
Hmm. This doesn't matter too much. Just pick any of them. Okay, it's a real mercenary fight. I would say it's good because it's not the very easy to kill ones. Huh, this is a little worse because there are two mercenaries that are blue. Hmm. It might be a little harder. Who should we take care of first? It actually doesn't matter, but well, since we're here, we'll focus down this Uther. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm slowed again. And you all know what's gonna happen when I get slowed in Lock Hollow. Bam, 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 bam! They all died. Easy. So yeah, that's it. That's how you farm with this comp. It's almost as effective as the good old um, Ragnaros comp. So if you don't have Ragnaros, try this comp out. Come on, give us the stranger. Oh, we didn't get it. Sad. So yeah, that's it. That's how you farm with this comp. And if you do not find a stranger, just retire and hop into another run. And see if you can get a mysterious stranger. So all in all, this comp is actually pretty good at farming. I'm actually surprised at how effective this is. Belinda, Geddon, Lakala, they work really well together, especially in their typings. You can easily take care of the blues as well. So yeah, that's it. That's the Frostfire comp in order to farm efficiently. Hopefully this has helped you. If it has, make sure you leave a like. If you have not subbed yet, make sure you sub for free so you will never miss out on awesome Hearthstone mercenaries, news, guides, tips and tricks, all that great stuff. I'm going to link a couple of videos on the top right hand corner so you can see Lakala's pure strength. Make sure you check those out. Thank you again for tuning in. A great rest of the day, and peace out.